Hey guys, here we will discuss the next set of questions and answers of GCP SCB exam. Let's get started. Question number 41 You are creating an application that will run on Google Kubernetes engine. You have identified Mongo, MongoDB as the most suitable database system for your application and want to deploy a managed MongoDB environment that provides a support SM. What should you do? Create a cloud big table cluster and use the H base API. Deploy MongoDB Atlas from the Google Cloud Marketplace. Download a MongoDB installation package and run it on complete engine instances. Download a MongoDB installation package and run it on a managed instance group. Correct answer is B. Forty-two. You are managing a project for the business intelligence department in your company. A data pipeline in guest data into BigQuery via streaming. You want the users in the BI department to be able to run the custom SQL queries against the latest data in BigQuery. What should you do? Create a data studio dashboard that uses the related BigQuery tables as a source and give the BI team few access to the data studio database dashboard. Create a service account for the BI team and distribute a new private key to each member of the BI team. Use Cloud Scheduler to schedule a batch data flow job to company. The data from BigQuery to the BI team's internal data warehouse. Assign the IAM role of BigQuery user to a Google group that contains the members of the BI team. See the answer and explanation. D is the correct answer. 43. Your company is moving its entire workload to Compute Engine. Some servers should be accessible through the internet, and other servers should only be accessible over the MRM network. All servers need to be able to talk to each other over specific ports and protocol. The current on premises network relies on the demilitarized zone DMZ uh, for the public server and the local area network. For the private servers, you need to design the networking infrastructure on Google Cloud to match these requirements. What should you do? Uh, create a single VPC with a subnet for DMZ and the subnet for the LAN. Set up viral rules to open up a relevant traffic between the DMZ and the LAN subnet and another viral rule to allow public increased traffic for the DMZ. Create a single VPC with a subnet for the DMZ and the subnet for the LAN. Set up a firewall rules to open up relevant traffic between the DMZ and the LAN subnet and another firewall rule to allow public increased traffic for the DMZ. Create a VPC with a subnet for the DMZ and another VPC 
the soldiers have left on the road. Instead of viral rules, two of them have driven traffic between the DMZ and the land subnet and another viral rule to allow public increase traffic for the DMZ. Great uh, VPC with the subnet for the DMZ and another VC with the subnet for the land. Instead of firewall rules to open up relevant traffic between the DMZ and the land subnet, and another firewall rule to allow public increased traffic for the DMZ. Answer and explanation is correct. 44. Your project has on its complete ancient resources in the Europe West. One reason you wanna set up West in Europe West one as a default reason for three cloud command. What should you do? Use cloud shell instead of command line interface of your device. Launch the cloud shell after you navigate to a resource in the Europe West reason. The Europe West one reason will automatically become the default reason. Use entry cloud config set config reason Europe West one to set the default reason for future G cloud command. Use entry cloud config set compute join Europe West to set the default reason. Create a VPN on premises to a, sub, to a subset in the Europe West and use that connection when executing the G Cloud command. Answer is B. Forty-five. You have a definition for an instance template that contains a web application. You are asked to deploy the application so that it can scale based on the testing traffic it receives. What should you do? Create a VM from the instance template. Create a custom image from the VM. Export the image to cloud storage. Create an HTTP load balancer and add the cloud storage bucket as its backend service. Create a VM from the instance template. Create an app engine application in automatic scaling mode that forward all traffic to the VM. Create a managed instance group based on the instance template. Configure auto scaling based on HTTP traffic and configure the instance groups as the backend service of an HTTP load balancer. Create the necessary amount of instances required for peak user traffic based on the instance template. Create an unbalanced instance group and add the instance group to that instance group. Configure the instance group as the backend service of the HTTP load balancer. See the explanation and answer. C is the correct answer. 46. Your company has a mission critical application that serves users globally. You need to select a transactional relational data storage system for this application. Which two products should you choose? BigQuery, Cloud SQL, Cloud Spanner, and Cloud Dictable. And Cloud Data Store. Answer is B is the correct answer. B and C. 47. You need to estimate the annual cost 
of running a, a big query data is scheduled to run nightly. What should you do? Use gcloud dry, uh, query dry run to determine the number of bytes read by the query. Use this number in the pricing calculator. We use BQ query dry run to determine the number of bytes read by the query. Use this number in a pricing calculator. Use GCloud estimate to determine the amount billed for a single query. Multiply this amount by 360. Use BQ estimate to determine the amount billed for a single query. Multiply this amount by four. See the answer. B is correct. Forty-eight. You need to verify the assigned permission in a custom IAM rule. What should you do? Use the GCP console in section to view the information. Use the GCloud init command to view the information. Use the GCP console security section to view the information. Use the GCP console API section to view the information. Answer is A. Yeah. But nine. If create a department with two replicas in a Google Kubernetes engine cluster that has a single printable node pool, after a few minutes, use Kubek L to examine the status of your pod and observe that one of then still in pending tables. What is the most likely cause? The pending pods resource request are too large to fit on a single node of the cluster. Too many pods are already running in the cluster and there are not enough resources left to schedule the pending pod. The node pool is configured with the service and more account that does not have permission to pull container at answer is B. Safety. You are building an ML model to detect anomalies in real time sensor data. He will use the pops up to handle incoming requests. He wants to store the reserves for analytics and visualization. How should you configure the pipeline? Which should be direct answer is a data flow. AI platform the query. Thanks for watching. See you in the next. Bye bye.